Hi, welcome to another episode of Lois Hook Pottery. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe, like, share, do everything that you need to to help me support this channel. Um, basically, I have four lamps that I've made um, and I'm going to work on this one doing the glazing with you. And then obviously when it's out of the kiln, we'll add it on to the end of the video. So it's going to be a little bit in the future. But I want to share uh, one thing that I've really loved when I have made it. And that is this beautiful bowl that unfortunately I have showed you before got the cookie stuck in the bottom and it's cracked. But I absolutely love this finish. This is made with three layers. I've got to be careful with my hands there. This is made of three layers of iron luster. And then I have put randomly... Um, smoky Merlot, Blue Rutile and then Oatmeal. So I'm going to share how I produce this and hopefully we're going to get that result on this beautiful potentially lamp. So what I've done, um, I have got, um, I basically turned a pot, um, and just check you can see it. I basically turned this pot that way round. I have then put a slab of clay um, onto what will then end up being the bottom. I've pressed it in, recessed it in. I've then put a hole in the top and the side for the wire. And I've, I've basically blended this in to give me this shape. So that's what we're doing. Um, I have wiped it over because um, as most of you know, it has been a little while um, since I've been doing this sort of stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have to really think about how this is going to sit in the kiln. Um, I appreciate that I luster can go all the way to the bottom, but then I've really got to seriously think, I've got a very small rim around here, I've got to seriously think, how am I going to support that whilst in the bottom of the kiln? Now, I did make some um, flat, flat, flat slabs, uh, which are still too small for this, but to give you some idea, I made some flat slabs, some big cookies for it to sit on. That isn't going to really work. Um, so I've got a bit of thinking to do because um, in the past I have used a um, little wadding, a uh, piece of wadding, and it has slumped. But I have in the base of this a structure to support the shape. So I think that's what I'm going to end up having to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a band of uh, wax resist. But I think in this instance, because I'm really, really conscious that I want a bit of space, I'm going to basically draw a line with a pencil and just take it so there's a five mil bottom there to push the glaze up a little bit more. So I will get that done and I'll move the camera in so you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, a little, mark a little line about five mil off of the top. Now this is not far off centre, so I'm just going to do it freehand. That's not ideal. Let's have a look again at that. Hmm. It's just a wonder if I actually did it this way, whether, get that in the middle, whether, whether that would be more, look and see so if I actually that's better I think that works So I have some wax resist that has been made before. Now wax resist 
interestingly enough, I bought in a big in a big bottle, um, uh, which I got a big one from Scarborough wax emulsion they call it and i watched florian gadsby he adds a little bit of hot water to his wax resist um, in this case i'm going to paint it on i'm not actually going to be doing it uh, where he's using the the momentum of the wheel um to to do that for him so let's just check you can see what i'm doing let's bring the camera up a bit okay Um, it's probably working a bit backside. I'm probably working over the front of the camera actually, but Okay, so that's done. Okay, then what I think I will do is I'm going to put three layers of eye luster on this. So I think what I'll do is work from this way up first and do the top bit later. So I'll just prep my iron luster and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so yeah, I've got my iron luster sorted. I will use my big fan brush for this. Just dry it. And I'm going to put three coats on, so I'll start and then I'll fast forward and jump to the next bit.
okay so i've done three coats i'm just finishing drying and then we'll turn it over and we'll put the three coats of iron luster on the top Now to me, I probably will leave the iron luster in that middle section at the top and then start with the um, smoky merlot and blue rue tile pattern and then the oatmeal over the top at the side. So the reaction is, so that means that's much more of a blander top, but I, if I get the glaze right, that will look really lovely in itself. It will have, um, this finish there so I'm going to put that on and then so to me it's got to be put on really well very even I put plenty on I'm sure you can all see that um, I'm going to go down in that inside any lumps or bumps I don't want to keep in there when I've done the the lamps with the textured turquoise on the top and it's just the Texas turquoise on the top it really does look very very smart indeed and that's the sort of finish I'm wanting for this so I'm just going to make sure I give it a really nice over before it dries and obviously I'm going to do another couple of coats on the top of that so that's what that's looking like at the moment right good morning everybody this is another day on um, i actually got into throwing a pot which was lovely after um, playing with this so i'm going to now draw um some loops on here that i'm going to follow and one of the loops will be the um blue rutile and one of the loops will be the smoky merlot and then we'll put um oatmeal over the top so there is a, a reason to run First of all, I'm going to choose an area over the top here that I don't want to. Um, it's pretty okay. And then we'll do the other one crossing over. I'm drawing on top of the iron luster. Um, I'm going to also, what we'll do, we'll do that first. And then we'll see, because I think, I mean, I clearly want it to go lower on this side. So let me do a another crossover here, another loop. Okay, so we're going to get our, the point with this is you've got to do the three coats. So this is the, I don't know what I said here, blue rutile it is, blue rutile. And I'm going to use a, um, I could either pipette, pipette it on and spread it or 
I actually paint it, so I'm going to paint it. And this is the, um, the blue red tile. Got to remember that it's going to need a couple of good thick coats. All we're doing is giving the iron luster up. Drop that, wipe that off in a minute. Not that it matters. I um, sat down cleaning my my wheel this morning. Oh my word! Did I have to go and get some bored water to deal with the how cold it was? To be honest this runs so much that it's actually not gonna it's, you know i'm not following any format you can do what you like on here i just like um i just like the way that when i did it this way um it just put color everywhere on the So that'll do for the start with that one. Oh, I smoke a hello. Dip the top in the water to get the container undone. Not for long. There it is. have another Japanese brush here so they can have one each. Colours are very similar when you're putting them on. sure as I keep knowing what I've just done because as I said these are all in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to put SM on that one I'm going to put blue blue tile on that one there will be overlaps here I've sort of come to a dead end then. Let me start another one for the Smoky Merlot. if we go over the top of some of it all that's going to do is enhance the colour mix when the um, oatmeal <laughs> I 
go back to my mark, bright blue, and then smoky merlot. So let's just give smoky merlot while we're here another thick coat. Right, what I'm going to do, I want a very interesting line to happen around here. I'm going to put a line of, of oatmeal. So I'm going to do smoky Merlot as a, as, a, as a circle up here. I can put oatmeal on top of it and have a distinctive line like the top of this um, jar nice and thick now. I'm going to put the blue root tile away but maybe I'll just leave that as, a, as, a, as the smoky merlot and then there'll be some reaction coming down and then I'll have oatmeal on the top of all this when it's dried. Okay. Let that dry. Okay, so we're now at the stage where I'm going to put on the oatmeal. So um, I'm going to do it along the, around the top bit first because I want that to have a nice a nice sort of obvious reaction down there. Nice and thick. This will dry and look like it's peeling, but it's never actually been an issue. Just want a bit more then. And then I'm going to do 
around the top of every Nice and thick. My husband's talking to the dog, he doesn't know I'm videoing. And the heating's come on, so I will fast forward this in a minute and let you see what the end result is. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing a light, a light covering at the, a light line at the bottom of this, so that that allows just a bit of movement to get it to cut to come down. So I've done hard and thick underneath, and now I'm just sort of doing a light at the top there. everything has a reason to move okay so all these bits across the top are thick really thick and should have some reason to move um, I'm going to put a bit more around this whole band so there definitely is a reason to have something slipping at the top and that's it. As you can see, I'm over the moon with this result. I've got exactly what I wanted. What I love about it is the, the way that the Smoky Merlot has actually run different than the, the Blue Rutile. We know when we put oatmeal on to Iron Luster, we get a reaction. And then because of that being, the, let me just bring the camera up, just because of that being a bit close to it, because that was smoky merlot, look at the uh, with the iron um, the oatmeal over it. Look at the absolutely wonderful reaction on there. So 
So let me just do a set this up again and just do a uh, full turn on that. What's really nice about it is you're keeping the iron luster um, in places. When you feel it, it is risen in places, which is not a nice feel. This is lovely around here, look at that. So there you go. I hope that was um, a bit of a, an insight into what I do and uh, give everybody a little bit of confidence to try something. I've got a few more that I'm going to make, uh, videos that I'm going to make uh, in the same process. You see me put it on and then you see the end result. So thanks everybody for, oh, thanks everybody for watching. It's been a joy. See you soon.